Hey guys, welcome to Survival on the Skinny with Stephen Kenny and me. Okay. Um, what I want to go over is <clears throat> my knife rig that I carry uh, on day hikes, weekend camping trips to week long excursions. Just want to go over it real quick with you and touch base on a little bit of a little bit of safe use. Okay, this is a uh, big heavy knife. It's a K bar BK2 um, heavy knife. Y'all see me use it a lot in the videos. Uh, I do keep it sharp. Okay. Um, anyway, good knife. Can't do without. What's on my rig here is I took a ferret rod and a piece of fat wood that I harvested. Drill a hole in the fat wood epoxy the ferret rod into the fat wood, drilled a hole through all of it, put a piece of shock cord on there, okay, so it locks into the sheath. It, it's, it's there, okay. Um, I know I always got a spark and some tinder right there. On this side of the, of the pocket is a flashlight. Uh, it's just a little flashlight, okay. Uh, anyway, these little flashlights are great, good power, they're lightweight, easy to carry. You can take and flip the clip around on them right there, and then this hooks to your hat like so. So now you've got a headlight for your hat. Flashlight. I've got about 15 feet of paracord here. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with paracord, really need to familiar, familiarize yourself with it. This is 550 paracord. It's got seven strands inside the case here. So I've actually got eight pieces of string that are 15 feet long. Uh, cordage, snares, traps, you name it. I know I've got it with me all the time. Ten that I keep in it. Okay. In the tin, I'll go over what's in the tin. Band-aid, okay. For obvious reasons, you're playing with sharp stuff. Keep a band-aid handy. It's not going to hold your finger back on, but anyway, it will slow the bleeding down. A mirror. Now this mirror has a hole drilled right in the center of it for spotting. Um, spotting aircraft, spotting people, whatever, uh, you actually just aim through the hole and then spot your spot your target and go to flash it. Okay. Some char cloth. Several pieces of char cloth. Um, I love char cloth. One spark is all it takes, whether it's from a flint and steel, ferro rod, whatever, one spark, you've got an ember. Uh, place in your tinder bundle and you're good to go. 24 gauge floral wire. Okay, I've got a little over 30 feet of it here. Um, I'll ball it up in a couple of different sizes. Some I've used and just repurposed and put back in my kit. Uh, traps and snares, snares okay. for the floral wire. A mini big. Never leave home without a big in your pocket. You got fire. Okay. Enough said on that. Small fishing rig. Okay. I've got I've got some string in here, some split weights, uh, a lure, and then there's about four hooks in here, and string. There's about 25, 30 feet worth of string. Okay. Um, that's really all you need. Light string with small hooks. Uh, this is six pound test and the hooks are very small, little bitty ones. Like I say, you're looking for, you know, you're not looking for that trophy bass, you're looking for supper. Um, you know, I'll take a mess of brim, sunnies, whatever. I'll take a mess of them more than one big fish any day because that mess will feed me and sustain me. 
right here is some jute twine. Okay, I've got it partially separated um, for tender, bun tender bundles. Uh, you just take a single strand of the jute and then you process it. You fluff it up. What you want it to look like is you want it to look like uh, a clump of hair that you pulled out of a hairbrush. Okay, uh, process three or four strands of it. Uh, like get your char cloth going, put your cloth, char cloth in the center of this, uh, right into a, uh, a tender bundle out of dead grass or cedar bark, whatever you want to use um, for tender, and see how that just processes into really fine hairs. And and you've got fire, buddy. You've got fire. Also in here is a pencil sharpener. I know he's saying a pencil sharpener. Well, for shavings, for wood shavings, fat wood, uh, any kind of wood shavings, very quickly, very simply process a bunch of wood shavings in a really quick hurry with a little pencil sharpener uh, and save the edge of your knife. Okay, but anyway, also when you're making arrows, okay, you've made a, uh, you're in the woods, you've made a bow, you're making an arrow. Use that to put your point on your arrow, buddy. I mean, it's going to be true and it's going to be in the center and your arrow will fly very well with that. So, a little 39 cent pencil sharpener. Two razor blades. Uh, these two razor blades, multi-purpose, but I keep razor blades just for doing some fine work, uh, deboning some game or whatnot. Uh, you take a razor blade. And you can really get in there and really get close and get, get some very, uh, very precise cuts. Um, some that you wouldn't get with a big old chopper like this, okay? Um, this will do the trick now. But for getting precise cuts on tendons and so forth, so you can just debone an animal, uh, razor blades are by far the best way to go. And my last thing is, in the tin is a uh, signal whistle. Okay, it's just it's a whistle, um, tops knives, sent it uh, with the bushcraft. I got a bushcraft from them right here, and tops knives sent this whistle with the bush knives, and um, I think it's a great addition. Uh, you know, you're you're trying to escape the woods. Okay, you're trying to be found. Uh, signal mirror to signal. When they start getting close, using a whistle to find your location and to find you uh, two very invaluable pieces of equipment that everyone really should have if they're going out on any sort of hike. So, to cover the bases real quick, I've got my knife, okay? Cordage, used for shelter, trapping. I've got fire. I've got a few different ways of fire, okay? But I've got fire. Fishing for food, okay? I know it's only one band-aid. I usually have a couple, but um, I had to use one. A uh, couple of band-aids, obviously. It gets dark, I got a flashlight, okay? Fire. Food, water, shelter, okay? Fire, food, water. Now, everybody, you going out for any sort of hike, you've always got a water bottle, okay? Some sort of, even if it's a small water bottle, but you've got a water bottle on you. Uh, finding water, fire to uh, purify the water, okay? You wanna filter it first and then purify it here. But, so I've got water, I've got fire, I've got shelter. I can get food, okay? So, essentially, all this that goes in this one little kit, and, and, I, and I'm set. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm ready. I feel comfortable with the gear I've got. I'm comfortable with, with having it with me, one. Um, knowing that the skills that I have learned over the years, that, you know, this is really what I need and all I would need, uh, to survive very well and comfortably. Um, you know, I, 
I have no doubts. I know there's been a couple times some families just go out on a really short day hike hunting blackberries. They get turned around, get lost, uh, whatever, find themselves in dire straits with no food, no water, no shelter, no fire, and no way to make anything, and no way, no way to make anything happen. Uh, if you notice the color of this tin, I use these tins, I've got three or four of them, but I use them to make charcoal, okay? So that's why it's all funky color, but anyway, that's okay. It can be, it can be funny color, right? and, and it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna put all this back together, and like I say, it's, this is what I use. Now, a couple things to be mindful of and be aware of. One is be sure that whenever you're using your knife to keep the blade away from you, always carve away. Don't carve too. Obvious reasons. It's simple, but I'm going to tell you, there have been many people that have cut themselves and hurt themselves in the woods without any any way for any treatment or getting fixed. Okay? That's it. This is what I carry. This is my knife rig. Folks, like I say, I just want to touch base on a couple things. Show you what, what, this, what my survival rig is. Um, comment, please. Okay? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what survival rig you've got. Let me know what you carry on day hikes and, and short hikes. Okay? Uh, you have to be prepared here. And your tools. Okay? Alright, let me know. Comment. Have a great day. We'll see y'all next time.